So Jamie Carragher has given his thoughts on Liverpool's imminent appointment of Arne Slot, the current Feyenoord manager who looks set to replace Jurgen Klopp at the end of this season, with Liverpool and Feyenoord both in discussions over a compensation fee for the 45-year-old Dutchman. Liverpool saying they'll pay around 7.5 million, Feyenoord holding up closer to 9 million up in the air at the moment but this has sparked reactions from players like Virgil van Dijk coming out to speak about Arnslot, fans, Redman TV, LFC Transfer Room, everyone getting involved and of course with Jamie Carragher giving his thoughts on the news that Arnslot looks set to replace Jurgen Klopp this summer and here's what he had to say about it there was quite a few things in the two minute video actually so it's really interesting to hear his thoughts on it uh, he said starting off in the video, I think it looks like at this moment there's probably a real dearth of top-level managers out there. This might be a bit harsh on slot, given his achievements in the Netherlands. If you look at what he did at AZ Alkmaar, finishing second in the league on goal difference, only for it to be ended because of COVID anyway, and what he's doing at Feyenoord, winning the league, winning the Dutch Cup this season, best in the league for defensive metrics and second for attacking metrics. It's proven that he is in a sense a top manager he just isn't Liverpool's first choice he goes on to say that if you look at Liverpool's options that we currently had initially it was Xabi Alonso it's only his first full season as a manager then there was talk of Ruben Amorim from Sporting who's only 39 now Arnslot is the favourite and there is truth to this is some truth to this with Liverpool's main two targets being quite inexperienced compared to other candidates out there. You look at Julian Nagelsmann, Hansi Flick, Thomas Tuchel. But while achievements of team are a massive thing that managers should be looked at for, Liverpool have the tick because of our data-driven approach. His personality is a big thing that the club was looking at, as well as his ability to operate on a small budget and his full throttle football, which are all things that pulls boxes. It's what the club is known for, and it seems to be a big thing that they were after following the news that Klopp was leaving. And to go at Carragher's point again, there is a lack of quality top level managers, I suppose you could say. I think that's because we're in a transition period with managers. Players have become managers. Players have got their coaching badges, but they're having to go through the smaller clubs to get the big jobs. You don't want to do what Frank Lampard did. You don't want to do in, a, in an extent what Gerard did. Players now are becoming managers, and we're in that sort of lull space. Arn Slot seems to be of the newer generation, being only 45 years old and only starting management in 2019. He then goes on to compare it to the appointment of Rafa Benitez in 2004 and Jurgen Klopp in 2015, saying, I don't think it's like Benitez coming in or Klopp. Benitez coming in on the back of two La Liga titles and the UEFA Cup, or Klopp winning a couple of league titles in Germany and getting to a Champions League final. Liverpool were actually in a different space then. And... This is true. We are in a different position than where we were a few seasons ago. Arnslot is going to come in under pressure and has taken a huge jump from final to Liverpool, which is another thing that Carragher mentioned. But I don't think the fans are expecting titles right away. Absolutely, we want to win league titles every season. Of course, that's the aim of the game. But he's leaving the era of to come to the best league in the world and while we want him to succeed we also understand that it's going to take time for him to get the results he wants it took Klopp three seasons to win a trophy he lost two finals in the first season the Europa League and the League Cup it took him three seasons to win the Champions League and in the two seasons before that we only finished in the top four we weren't fighting for titles like Carragher says, Benitez's side, which won the Champions League in 2005, shouldn't have. Players and even Benitez himself have said there's no way we should have won that match, but we did. But it took him four seasons, three or four, to get to a title-fighting team. The 2008-2009 season was a few years after Benitez joined. We had to build to that point. It takes time to build these things up. And while Slot may have to come in with the expectation of we want the title, we want the Champions League, don't think it's going to be the case. He's going to lose players this summer. Mo Salah could potentially leave. Diaz looks like he could leave. Robertson could even leave. And Van Dijk's got a contract running down. Trent's got a contract running down. We need to see who leaves this squad before we put pressure on the man. He's coming into a massive rebuild. The backroom staff have all changed. Michael Edwards has come back. There's been wholesale changes from top to bottom. And Arnslot is going to have to come in and accept the fact that he's not 
results he wants right away and the fans are also going to have to deal with that it's going to be a difficult transition period and we might go through a season or two of struggle like we did under Jurgen Klopp like we did under Benitez but in actuality it's building towards something successful. Arnslot clearly was not our first choice. It was Alonso and Amarim, but he ticks all the boxes. He's an experienced manager with good teams. He's won trophies. He plays an attractive brand of football, which benefits all our players. And he's thrifty with finance. He brings in players who he needs, not just for the sake of it track record of promoting youth academy prospect into the first team. It's probably going to be folly of us to expect titles straight away, but we also need to understand that it will happen as long as he's given the resources and time and the support of the fans. He's replacing a manager who's been at the club for nine seasons, who's adored by everyone. No matter who came in afterwards, even if it was Alonso or Amarim, everyone will be comparing them to Klopp. Just because Arnslot is not the first choice doesn't mean he's a bad choice. Carragher stating that you know, we expect titles, we expect Champions Leagues, we do, but we're also realistic. I am not expecting it every single season. As long as there's a clear progression, as long as there's a clear development towards where we need to be, that is fine because it will eventually happen, whether it's slot or not. It will one day happen again, and we just have to be patient with it. The expectation is different than when Benitez and Klopp came in. Absolutely, because at that point we were languishing, trying to fight for top four. But the expectation was still titles. It is always going to be to win titles. The difference is we have a better squad now than when they joined. But we need to give them time. That's just my thoughts on it. It's only a quick video today, guys. If you are new around here, please make sure to hit like and subscribe. And go check out my last video, top 10 transfers that need to happen this summer. Top 10 Premier League players need transfers, should I say. Two Liverpool players actually on the list. So make sure you go check that out. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you all in the next video.